Well, Gary, has it been a positive week at Yeovil Town? Yeah, I think it has. Um, you know, communication is is better when we're all on the same island and discussing things. And uh, every discussion you have, you get a little bit further. You know, obviously, board of directors have to talk to each other as well. Uh, you know, we've got another meeting today. We're just going to uh, have a chat about the, the near future. Uh, probably the long term future will come. At, uh, another day sort of thing but at the moment we need to discuss what we what I think we need and what we need to do but uh, you know it, it's always happier as well when your team's just picked up three points and everybody sees the world differently um, and uh, and we really did have a very very good performance uh, at Bradford it was uh, culminated in, in our best all-round performance really and I thought demoralised uh, what is a very good Bradford team as they proved when they beat Leeds a week earlier. Um, so it doesn't change a lot but it changes you as far as the uh, run-ins of everything and um, but what it does change is it means that uh, we know that we've got a group that we thought we had originally and uh, a few of them are hopefully just coming to the fore now and bringing out their best games. Hmm. You want to add to your squad. Have you had the green light to do that yet? And if not, how far away are you from that happening? Is it just a meeting away now? Well, in football, a day, a week is, is, is a long time and the same players may not be available. But this discussion is really just about um, the, who we need, if we need it, have we got it? What's the budget? You know, I, I believe the, the accountant's involved as well. So we can see whether we come within that fair play figure or not. You know, that's something that ballrooms all over the country are, are, are panicking on because no one really knows what the sanctions are. Um, you know, what they say in QBR sanction is 40 million, isn't it? So, uh, but uh, they still got to the, <laughs> the Premiership and earned themselves 70 million over three years sort of thing, you know, well not over three years, but for three years on, on the trot. So um, people don't really know, we know the rules, but we don't know what the sanctions are. And I understand people can't go above um, the rules or their finances. And, and that's what we're, we're working on to try and find what the bottom and top line is. Is there likely to be any new faces for Saturday or is that unrealistic? Uh, it's, it's probably unrealistic now as we speak, Thursday afternoon, because we did a lot of work with them this morning on our shape and our pattern because you have to do that nowadays because most managers are tactically aware and, uh, and they all have different tactics. So every week you have to work on the strengths and weaknesses of the opposition that wouldn't be the same as the week's opposition beforehand. So. Um, you know, and we do that well, Darren Way and Terry and myself, you know, we, we brainstorm every game uh, and then we select the team that we think will win and uh, and hopefully you win more than you lose. At the moment we're, we're dead even, um, but then you need the players to perform as well and uh, if they perform like they did against Bradford then uh, we've got every chance. Yeah, and a lot of focus has been on incomings, could there be any outgoings at the football club in the near future? Yeah, there will be outgoings because uh, Again, that's the nature of the game. You know, somebody's too far away from the squad, or we've given a lot of chances to, and they haven't come up trumps uh, despite the number of chances. Then, obviously, like Matteo Lanzoni, sometimes the situation is somebody needs to move on to get his career going. Mm. Coventry at the Rico, is it a good thing that you're heading to the Rico rather than Northampton, or is it a bad thing? It's a very good thing. Um, it's a great. It's going to be a great atmosphere. Everybody would prefer to play in front of twenty-eight thousand and fifteen hundred, two thousand people. Um, and uh, the Rico Stadium is a is a fantastic stadium, and has only got good memories for me. It's got good memories, you know, for Terry and Darren, I think, as well. And when I was at Bristol City, and obviously being here at Yeovil, it's so uh, you know we've won. We've won some good games there and some very, very good football matches. So I'm looking forward to it and uh, probably more so than if we were travelling to Northampton at the weekend. Mm. In the opposition dugout, you've got a manager who I'm hearing a lot of good things about. What What is a team of Coventry strengths? Um, do you expect a, a tough test from them on Saturday? Yeah, it'll be a tough test. You can see that he works very hard with his way of playing, his philosophy. And um, he's got players into his philosophy. 
and those players that didn't want to come into that, he's moved on pretty quickly, even though there's some big names that he's moved on. Um, I think their, their budget is uh, still a lot higher than ours, <laughs> and uh, I think they was waiting for, you can imagine, the 28,000 crowd a week puts your budget up quite a lot higher than everyone else eventually. But, um, but he has done a fantastic job and he's seen them through the bad times. And I think he's just signed a new contract. And uh, four years, I think. Yeah, well, it's a it's a great club. It's a big club, and uh, everybody loves him. So uh, he's a he's a nice fella as well. And he's a, a good football coach, and he'll you know he'll get bigger and stronger as time goes on. And he, they'll be hoping that he he does that for Coventry as well. Mm. Your boys set a standard, didn't they, at Bradford? How do you make sure that they they keep that consistency going now? Well, you tell them what you know. You show them. Tell them, show them on the, on the review how well they did. And hopefully that will give them the confidence in themselves, but also the confidence in their teammates. You know, poor old Jack Price came in against Portsmouth and all the earth was negative all, everywhere. Like, you know, what, the manager came late? And, uh, but I was talking to him and I was talking to him in the hotel, despite people saying that he was already at the, at the ground. Um, so he then saw and heard how passionate we are in the dressing room before, during and after because we were disappointed with our performance on that night. But uh, we did get our Warriors back. We did say to him that you know we, will, we can easily turn this round. And he saw it within a matter of days exactly what we can do with his help as well. And uh, he, he came in and, and done a great job. So. We're very pleased with that acquisition, his acquisition. In terms of team news, were you encouraged by Joel Grant scoring a couple of goals against Plymouth in the week? Yeah, it was a fantastic performance by our lads because we had five full-time professionals and the other six lads were, were part-time professionals. And you know, our physio had to come on late. And now listen, you know, we mustn't be disrespectful because he's, he can play a bit, to be fair, as our other physio can, uh, Mike Matici. But... Uh, we, we were very pleased that it was a, a, a strong enough game because we had a strong enough team to compete and help the five lads that we needed to keep match sharp and uh, and they were and we scored two good goals from Joel Grant he doesn't look too far away and one good goal from our from our physio Simon Baker it was a goal of the day. Uh, other team news? That everything else looking okay for for Saturday? Um, Yes, there's nobody back in. Uh, I don't think we'll have any additions um, from the injury list. Uh, the physios will give me a list today of when they think they'll be back. So we've still got our six injuries, if you like, which you know, has killed us a little bit. Uh, a little bit, let's hope it's a very little bit. You know, We'll have to wait and see. But uh, certainly as far as numbers are concerned, it's, uh, it's meant that we haven't had the, the strongest squad as we, we would have liked.